Kate and I are at the Florida RV Super Show in Tampa, Florida. This is one of the biggest RV shows in the US and it's our favorite. We've been here five times in the last seven years and this show pretty much has it all. There's entertainment, food, RVs of all types and we're gonna show you around the show and show you some of our favorites. Now here's the thing with a show like this, it's so big, you have to have a plan of attack. Our first plan for the morning is to grab a breakfast burrito and some coffee. So let's go do that and then we can go see RVs. Fist bump? Fist bump, you got it. Love it. How are you? Doing great. Yeah. Just, um, you all still have breakfast? Yes, we have some burritos. As you can see here, I got a cinnamon roll when I was at the yeah, Where's my cinnamon roll? Aww. Inga, where are y'all sure? Always start the show at the storyteller booth with a breakfast burrito. Tip, pro tip for the RV show. There are some interesting specs on this uh, fifth wheel that I got to tell you about. So this fifth wheel by Spacecraft has some incredible features. 10,000 watts of solar on the roof, 108,000 watts of lithium battery power by Volta. That's ridiculous. And kind of the thought and idea behind this is there is a garage in the back where you can put your electric vehicle and this can charge your electric vehicle. For comparison, our Storyteller has 12 kilowatts of battery power. This has 108. <laughs> All right, y'all, here is a tip. Most of this show is outdoors. There are a few things indoors, but as you can see, the Florida sun is shining and it is warm out here. So bring your sun protection, bring sunscreen, and bring lots of water to stay hydrated. And if you didn't pack your own water, there's always water to be found at the show. Ice cold water. Perfect. Winnebago is announcing their new ERV2. So we are gonna go over and see what an electric RV is all about. So that was pretty interesting and it's a cool looking van, but it does get 108 miles of range. That's what Ford publicizes. So let us know what you think in the comments below. But if we're able to get some time alone with the ERV2, we'll try and make a whole video about it. Hey, look, they have uh, the winds, Nikki and Jason's, but look, we're the Millers. We just have to get this as we're the Russos. If you haven't read Joe's first book, um, the movie, We're the Millers, actually inspired our channel name, We're the Russos. Every year we see these signs and every year we talk about getting one. Should we get one? Let us know, leave a comment. <laughs> Do you have one? Can you believe we used to have one of these? Not this same floor plan, but we started out in a class A like this. Okay, since you're a good boy. While it was fantastic to have all of the room and everything, being able to be more maneuverable and pretty much park anywhere trumps having all the extra space for us. I know it's not for everybody, but it's like a uh, trip down memory lane coming in here. Bedroom still looks exactly the same. If you're coming to an RV show to do some shopping, I have a tip for you. Let's say you're looking for fifth wheels, for example. Create a plan, go and find all the fifth wheels that you wanna go see and make that your priority. I would suggest not coming through things like a class A because that was the mistake we made when we first started. 
is you see things you're not looking for, it wears you out, takes up time, and then you're just done for the day. So focus on what you're looking for. And especially with a show like this, if you buy one ticket, you'll get a day free. So plan to spend more than one day at the show. Take your time and enjoy it. Uh, you can wash your hands, go ahead. Make some Ooh. wishes. One, two, three. I'm getting some kisses. Did you catch that? <laughs> well, based on that line behind me, it tells me it's lunchtime. I'm feeling pretty good. That burrito is holding me over. Yeah, I, I made the mistake and just went with coffee. My brain wasn't on yet, so I'm regretting that decision now, but I think we're going to look around, see what other food options there are, and get something once the lines die down. I'm ready for a break from the sun. So we're going to pop inside the expo hall, walk around, check out the vendor booths, and take a little bit of a break. And the best part is there's air conditioning in here. This Defiance Tools French press has an integrated stainless steel filter. Just add hot water and coffee. This doubles as an insulated travel mug, so once your coffee is ready, you can drink right out of it. They also make a stainless steel coffee grinder that has adjustable grind settings. As you're grinding, the coffee goes into a small cup so it doesn't make a mess. So do you want to be on video this time? I mean, the last time we did it, you never posted it, so sure. Uh, it's probably not going to go anywhere. <laughs> this is Eric. He and his wife, Tammy, are part of Techno RV. That's right. Yep. And uh, we met them seven years ago. We all were doing our first show here. And uh, we- It was made, amateur hour. It was amateur hour. We made a little video with him showing off some of his products that never made it into the videos. And we've been laughing about it ever since. <laughs> but I just found out about this. Like I found out about this like two months ago. I'm like, where did that video go? He said, oh, I never posted it. <laughs> I'm like, what? It wasn't that bad? <laughs> Oops. And to show you that just by adding the, the power, uh, of this and replacing the internal Wi-Fi adapter of your computer that you can just access more access points. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you. Eric and Tammy are fantastic people. We're good friends with them and we love Techno RV. So. And we love the Russos. So Eric and I for years have been talking about doing a motorcycle trip Yes. and he wants to get a BMW and I said I would be supremely jealous of your BMW. And instantly I'm like, that's the one I'm getting then. <laughs> <laughs> because as it relates to truck campers and other things I've done, he's, he's not impressed. <laughs> but if he'll be impressed by the BMW, a motorcycle, I'm all in. All right, we're doing it. <laughs> Joe and Jack Lake. <laughs> It was great seeing Tammy and Eric and some of the other stuff in the hall, but it's time to get back out there and see some more RVs. Okay, y'all. We're at the Road Trek booth, and we're checking out some of their Class B RVs, and there's something new that I've never seen in a Class B before. Uh, they were telling us they call this the Pivot Shower. The uh, sales rep said it is the driest wet bath you will ever see. So come around and I'll show you. This is awesome. Okay, so here is the wet bath. You know, sink, all that stuff. Toilet, cassette toilet, and this does turn. Now, the thing with this is, pull this. That comes over, and now you have your shower area. So here, let me step in there. So now you have a separate shower from where the toilet area is to keep the water from going all over the toilet. And this is cool. This is, it's a bit tight for me. I mean, I could definitely go this way and shower, but I will say it's nice to see innovations and changes in some of the standard features you might find in one of these vans. Okay, let's see what other cool things we can find. So what do y'all think of this color scheme? It's a bit different. Or this one. <laughs> the lines have died down a bit. I don't think I have to look much further than Burger Boys. I'm gonna go get a burger. The nice thing about grabbing the burger now is the sun is at a point where I have some shade. So I'm gonna sit down, enjoy this, and then we can get back to the RVs.
Now I did say you can find just about anything at the Florida RV Super Show. Well, we've got the Wingham Oasis behind me and we have done a full walkthrough of that on our channel. I'll link to it up here as well as in the description below, but you can see fifth wheels back there, truck campers, all sorts of stuff. But next we're gonna show you something a little different, a park model. I like this loft space. Nice size bathroom. And bedroom. It's definitely different than a lot of the other RVs and things that they have here. And it's cool to come in and get to see these, especially if you're looking for something like this and not necessarily an RV. for a afternoon pick-me-up. This brownie is made with the Omnia stovetop oven. I've had one of these since 2019. Absolutely love using it. I will be releasing a free digital cookbook of recipes that I've come up with using this stovetop oven. Stay tuned for that. It'll be published at wertherussos.com. Cheers. When I mentioned uh, possibly taking the motorcycle around the country with the van, a lot of you suggested that we get a cargo trailer or something like that to take the motorcycle around in. Well, this is a cargo trailer with pop-out tents on both sides and a few other amenities, so this might be a good option. Plus, it would work for those trips with mom. Kate and I could sleep in here while mom takes the van, and I think it would be a much more pleasant trip, especially for those bathroom hours. But I mean, you've got two beds, refrigerator, sink, gas stove, and then plenty of room for one motorcycle or side-by-side. -side. And there is a smaller model with just one pop-out, but I like the size of this. Oh, and there's AC. And it has everything. Could our camper power that? Probably. I don't see why not. Oh, I'm exhausted. I mean, this is one full day and we are both wiped out. It is the end of the show for us. I think we've seen all we want and need to see. For today. Uh, yes, for today. <laughs> If you guys are coming, plan to spend at least a couple days. Take your time, relax, and enjoy the show. But that is it for this video. Tell us what you liked the most from the show that we showed in the comments below, and we will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and check out We're the Russos for more cool content. Bye, guys. Bye, Dan.